Today we will cover a project called Offshift XFT that has gone about 10x versus Ether the past week because they are approaching their launch. You told me to ape in with all my money into some small cap and then hold it all the way down. Really? I said that? Oh, I must have missed it myself. And by the way, it's a project that tries to do something that no one else has done before. I'm sure there's not going to be any hiccups or challenges along the way. It's going to be a straight lineup. I can show you. You buy here, then it goes up, then you sell here, and you get rich. That's how crypto works. Right? And what's so great with crypto is that you don't need to educate yourself. You can just switch on YouTube and someone there will tell you what to do. Right? Good morning from Stockholm, Sweden on this beautiful snowy winter day. Especially now when markets are tough. There's always angry comments on my video. Oh, you talked about this project and now I've lost money. So let me make one thing absolutely clear. I am not advising you to buy this project or anything else at all. I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm not telling you to buy anything. I'm not telling you to sell anything. I'm not your financial advisor. I love the blockchain technology. I love innovation. I share what I think are interesting projects happening in this space. And I try to educate and give you tools so that you can take your own decisions and not rely on some YouTuber to tell you what to do, especially not on me. I have talked about Haven XHV many times on this channel, but what are the alternatives? And are there any? Well, I would say that there are actually three projects that aim to do the exact same thing. Haven XHV was just first. But as I have repeated to death on this channel, there is very little value in a good idea, because all good ideas will be copied. It's how well you execute on that idea which matters in the end. So I think that the outcome here is still written in the stars. So there are two more projects that aim to do the same thing, that aim to bring privacy features to the blockchain while minting and burning a synthetic asset that can be a stable coin or basically any other asset on the planet. Now the other two have not launched yet and if you've been in the crypto space for some time you know that the dream always performs better than the reality. I reminded of this in the Cardano video I posted and you just saw it playing out on XHV. So what Offshift is, is that it's exactly the same idea as Haven. You get what you burn dollar for dollar, elastic supply model and zero slippage and a full palette of ZK assets. So it's just a copycat then. Then why am I even talking about this? Well, there is one thing. I have followed this project for, I think, close to two years, one and a half years at least. And there's one thing that they do differently, which I think is interesting. While Haven XHV run their own blockchain, Offshift XFT, they are developing their application to run on top of Ethereum and also on Moonbeam's EVM compatible Polkadot. So that solves one problem because one problem with running your own blockchain is that you can get 51% attacked. And if they actually get this working, they solve that problem because it's very difficult to 51% attack Ethereum. I tweeted some of this, but the reason that I didn't talk about this one was that I was a little bit worried that it was just talk, that there wasn't really any development that led to anything. But now there's actually been some progress and I suppose that's what's led to the run up in price. Because they have launched a pilot, it's very techy, you have to basically run docker, install your image and so on and so forth. And even I've been too lazy to do this at this point. And they have said that this pilot should evolve into mainnet, slated for Q1 2022. It's a small, relatively unknown project, 7500 followers on Twitter only. So this sounds very exciting then, yeah I think it is. But there are two things that concerns me. The first one is that they haven't launched yet. We don't know if they get it working. And as you've seen so many times in crypto, it's easy to make plans, it's easy to make pilots, it's easy to make something work on testnet. But when you put it on the mainnet, there's real money on the line and new problems tend to surface. Things that maybe you hadn't thought about even. And the second problem is slightly related to that actually. Let's look here. The team has published a long and very well written article about the role of the platform tokenomics and supply elasticity. And it basically just explained the Haven model. And at least to me, the interesting thing with this project isn't the model because the model isn't new. That's been around now for a couple of years. The interesting thing is the implementation that they do it on another more established blockchain instead. And they've written here that it should be noted that Offshift is not the first DeFi platform to deploy a native token with an elastic supply model. 
It is merely the first to do so in conjunction with the burn and mint collateral management and layer one privacy. No, it's not the first to do that. Haven is, it's exactly the same. And what worries me here a little with this article isn't that you try to market a little bit extra, that is fine, you try to push your message, you don't need to talk about your competitors. What worries me is if they are not aware of the problems that actually came with this model, that we have seen playing out right now in the Haven, that there is a way to game this model of having something listed on an exchange at the same time as you can burn and mint with infinite supply and no price slippage in the vault type construction, or like here called ZK assets. Because that's really what the Haven team had been struggling with to try to figure out with the new tokenomics model and all the mitigation tactics to try to solve this. And, and in this very long and very well written article here, there's not a word mentioned about this. Maybe they have talked about it, maybe they have some solutions, I just haven't seen it. I did try to ask them on Twitter, but I did not get any response. Maybe it's been sorted out already, great then. But this is really the challenge now with this model. And I feel that this may be not taken seriously enough from what I can read and see here on the website and on Twitter and a brief check on Discord. Moving on to happier topics. Offshift XFT is chartable on TradingView because Uniswap has a feed to TradingView and we have a chart Offshift versus Ether. And as you can see, once again, this has charted very well, worked very well with Large Online. In 2020 until 2021, there was a downtrend. Then price came into a clear rectangle, which can be a strong bottom pattern. A large line turned gold, but it went into another rectangle formation, which can also be a strong top pattern. Large line turned blue around here, it continued down quite far. Then if we zoom in here, we can see that large line turned gold here, and then it's gone about 10x versus Ether from there. We don't have any USD chart on TradingView, but if we go into coin market cap, we can see that the all time high from February, March 2021 was just broken here around New Year. Then it's been quite a bit of run up, so broke all time high, and the run up has continued from there. Of course, in anticipation of this mainnet launch and the fact that there actually is some progress happening. But the reminder here that based on the launch line process with the gold flip, actually 10x late already against the Ether now. So of course, that's not an ideal entry. But like I said, I have paid attention to this project for a quite long time because I like the idea of taking the same basic concept with a mint and burn stablecoin and other assets, add in privacy features because that is lacking in most blockchain technology today. And I am certain that if we fast forward 10 years, 15 years, privacy features will be an obvious and necessary part of any blockchain protocol, just as we have SSL for all important transactions on the internet today, or we have encryption when we use our mobile phones. And let me remind you again that I'm not telling you to buy anything, I'm just sharing exciting stuff that I find in this industry that I think is interesting and I'm sharing it with you. And to the team, I hope that you found some of the advice and challenges that I highlighted here valuable, that you can take it into account and hopefully be even more successful. And I said there are three projects that's doing more or less the same thing. One is Haven XHV, the second one is this project off shift xft but which one is the third one so make sure you have liked the video you have subscribed you have turned on the bell otherwise youtube will never notify you and see you in one of these videos thank you tak city olarsen out hey